So now let's see how to find the shutdown price when you have a total cost function like this one. Since we know that the shutdown price has really had to do with average variable cost, then the first thing we do is to find the average variable cost. Remember that the average variable cost is the variable cost divided by output, so we are basically going to take this, the variable cost part of that equation, which is this one, and we're going to divide that by Q. And we're going to end up with 50 minus 20Q uh, plus uh, 5 Q squared. And to find the lowest point of that equation, what we take is we take the derivative of that equation with respect to output, which is going to be uh, minus 20 plus 10Q, and we make that equal to 0. And if we do that, we find that the value of Q is going to be equal to 2. So what we just found here is the value of the, low, the value of Q when this function, average variable cost, is at the lowest point. But what we're really looking for is the value on the horizontal axis, right? The value of price at that point. So what we do is we, we make that, we take the, and this is also average variable cost here, right? So we take this two and we put it back into this equation uh, to find that value of the vertical axis. So that will be uh, 50 minus uh, 20 um, Q is 2 plus 5 Q is 2, uh, 2. So the value of this one, this is, um, this is 10, and this one is 20, right? So what we found out is that the value of the vertical axis at that point is uh, $30, which is also equal to the price, right? So when the price equals $30, the price is going to be equal to the lowest point of the average variable cost curve. And if, if, it, if the price falls below $30, you shut down. So the shutdown price for this particular equation uh, will be $30.